Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. Welcome back for another video of Star Wars: The Old Republic. We're back, boys, for some more. Obviously, with my uh, uh, difficult voice that I got right now, still having a uh, uh, problem with uh, problems with my throat and stuff. So my voice is still gonna have a little bit of a problem. Uh, I'm still gonna have a. It's, it hurts a little bit. And when you do recordings back to back, three videos back to back kind of tough boys but uh we gotta i gotta live with it all right so let's just go to i'm gonna go straight in right here i'm actually gonna end all the technician first uh that's what i'm trying to do at least there we go just end all the technician first and then we can focus our efforts on the boss right here that they're giving us uh pretty easy enough actually uh he's not really that much of a big time boss fight it's actually really easy to defeat boys just get him if, of course it's gonna be easier when you have where you when you're three up uh, you got an extra hand but uh still pretty good boys uh, overall we're doing all right up, major do you have something to say perhaps about your commanding officer nope everything's just peachy forget i said anything my lord apologies for wasting your time yeah no problem no problem it seems like He's trying to make her say something, but she doesn't want to be out of uh, out of hand and stuff like that. She obviously is a soldier, uh, a true soldier at heart, so she's obviously not going to talk shit about her higher-ups and stuff, which is uh, great. That's great stuff right there. That's how she, you should be, boys, in life. But uh, the problem is... Uh, her actual higher up, which was, was the Colonel right there, and not just the Sith himself, not just Darth Norlock, uh, Norlock, which we're starting to actually ta interact with or like actually do missions with, he wasn't the problem. The problem was the big time Colonel and stuff. He imprisoned the Sith, he did a whole bunch of stupid shit, and he should be held accountable for that. Absolutely, she, she shouldn't, Major Henry should not be scared to talk about that, that's for sure. Alright, let's disable this one. Now we gotta keep moving, boys. Keep uh, disabling every single one of those things uh, right here. There we go. I'm gonna keep doing the AOEs really quick until uh, I don't need to anymore. There we go, and uh, yeah, there's more enemies that, that we gotta defeat, boys. Let's just keep getting them uh, really quick. Uh, we're gonna just keep attacking every single one of them, do as much damage as possible. I'm gonna equip, equip the shields uh, as well. There we go, just do the AoE, do more damage over time, get him really quick. And now there's only this guy remaining. The one dude that's remaining, he's dead. Alright, let's get that, uh, uh, hopefully that I last tower, power that to last one the guns then. For good. Just need to find the controls that shut them off. Okay, so let's... Let's find the controls. We're in the middle of Republic uh, space right now, so we're doing a lot of damage uh, to uh, to these Republic goons right now. All right, let's keep attacking. Uh, keep attacking them really quick. Uh, I'm gonna just do a bunch of AOEs really quick. Uh, they're they're really not doing a lot of damage, a whole lot of damage. So it's pretty easy to handle overall, which uh, is really great for me, boys. Get him really quick. Come on. Finish him off. Grenade. All right. And there goes the last guy we need to handle right, uh, uh, right now. Handle him. Big time. Let's go. Don't know why uh, these guys are doing a lot of damage because of the mini turrets. It's super dangerous. Sometimes I almost end up dying uh, right away, boys. So let's go. More enemies to defeat. Keep attacking the technicians first, maybe. Yeah, I think I gotta attack the technicians first because they're the ones that are doing overtime damage, right? They do the extra damage, which is not good, boys. So let's go finish them off, right? Good. And uh, he's, been, he's gonna be dealt with. Good, good, good. And now I can focus my mind on this guy with the help of my allies really quick. There we go. Doing a lot of damage just like that, boys. Uh, also, I'm gonna do that thing right here. There we go. And he's done with just like that. Easy enough, boys. Now, finally, let's interact with this. Not a cell cap in sight. 
They must be putting a lot of trust in the Republic if they're letting this beast cruise around Manan without any local military on board. Don't be absurd. There is no trust between Manan and the Republic. The Selkath want the Republic gone as much as we do. As much as they want the Empire gone. I thought the Selkath helped the Republic destroy your Ion Cannon. A brief association. In opposition of a common enemy. How do you know that? The so-called soldiers tasked with guarding me had many complaints about Manan's natives. The Selkath's displeasure at the Republic's presence was especially confusing for them. The Republic are aggressors here. Self-righteous and unwanted invaders, though they pretend otherwise. And I will find a way to use their sanctimonious convictions against them. All those power conduits we fried lead to manual controls on the bridge. Can you use the controls to deal with the guns? Does a hut have a tail? Then let's get up there. Let's get over there, boys. Yeah, like he's saying, like the Sith is saying, like uh, Dorf uh, Norrock is saying, uh, I think he's right. The Republic is quite literally trying to spin their own image on the right side when it's clearly not the case they're clearly just trying to invade this place just to get their own stuff they're obviously gonna say oh well there was Sith here there was this and that and we're just trying to protect this planet that's not true they're just trying to invade it just because they want some culto for themselves this place belongs to the Sith Empire and nobody else boys doesn't belong to anybody else. Let's go. Let's keep attacking every single one of these uh, Republic assholes. We're gonna finish them off once and for all. There's a real good reason why I never went with the Republic with this character. Because I already know with other characters how they treat them. Republic treats them like like shit, quite literally. There's li sometimes there's literally no point in actually. Um, playing for the Republic boys uh, or signing with them at all because they're literally not doing anything else but to talk shit about you not really helping you out at all really they're kind of useless the Republic is the bad guys in my situation boys in my own mind they're definitely the bad guys I mean the, the Sith Empire is not to say good guys that's far from it there really uh, some there really are some bad people in there, but for the most part, they're mostly better. Pe there's mostly better individuals than they are in the Republic. That's for sure. Republics are just a bunch of self-indulgent uh, fools. That, that's what they are, boys. All right, enough of that. Let's me uh, handle these guys really quick. Get rid of that uh, gunship uh, trooper and get rid of this one as well. How many troops are we gonna have to fight here? Let's go, man. That's a lot of enemies we gotta handle. As as much as I like uh, playing this game, I don't wanna have to fight too much enemies. Might uh, end up eventually switching to operative. I'm, you know what I, I'm thinking actually? I think uh, I think the what caused the problem with the um, the map glitch and everything was the fact that I went from operative back to power tech over and over again. I think that's what created the problem in the first place. Probably. Maybe it's just me, but I got a feeling that's that's what it, uh, it, it did. That's what it ca uh, that's what caused it. So uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Just going to have to uh, keep that under suspicion probably. All right, so we're coming up towards the bridge right here, boys. Let's do that. Let's go at the bridge and uh, get rid of this colonel once and for all. Other commanders, I should say. All right, I'm about to do that, and I'm going to attack. So let's go, boys. Let's do this. Let's attack these fools really quick and get rid of them. So first things first, this is a... It, it's not a Jedi. For a second, I thought it was a Jedi we were facing, but it's just a... A regular to to root up boys the commander and stuff so that's fine by me let's go to okay keep attacking them actually doing a lot of damage uh, let's keep attacking him and also I'm gonna also force choke planning, him uh, while here. we're at it why not boys 
going to show a little bit of my own force, uh, force abilities as well. Let's go. Kill him off. Kill him off. Come on. Get him. All right, he's done. He's dealt with, boys. As easy as that was. Look at that. How much damage did we do just like that, boys? Sometimes it's super easy. Other times it's kind of difficult. Here. There's a not really any balance. Lock this system down tighter than Banthahide. Can you get in? Oh, yeah. No problem. And we destabilize enough of this thing's power conduit so that I can rig the guns to explode from here. With plenty of time for us to escape, of course. Say goodbye to the Republic's shiny new toy. Stop. What's the matter? Why destroy these weapons? When we can take them for ourselves. Use them against the Republic, should they try to stop us again. Increase the output of these weapons as high as you can, Major. Make them so powerful that we regain our unquestionable dominance over this world. Not an option, my lord. We shut down too many of the power sources. There won't be enough juice left to supercharge the guns and keep their targeting matrix online. I do what you're asking. These guns will fire on anything that moves. Selkath, Republic, Imperials. Good. That means no one else will be able to shut them down. When Selkath's ships are obliterated by Republic weapons, their rift will deepen. The Selkath can't fight on two fronts. And when the dust is cleared, Manan will belong to me. You there? Do you read? I mean, the of those guns? could be a good now, idea. Animal, but you... Come in! Blast! I thought we'd worked out these comms issues. Colonel? Listen, if you can hear me at all, it is imperative that we destroy these guns once and for all. Our people need Koto, and what we're doing here is the best way to get it to them. But we can't continue if the Republic is breathing down our necks like this. Darth Lord's orders are clear. Destroy the guns. Everything all right? Focus, Major. Do as I command, and you shall be granted a reward befitting a conqueror of worlds. I'm sorry, my lord, but this one gives the orders. Destroy the gun, supercharge a gun. What would you do? Supercharge the gun. I think the Sith, I, I think uh, Darth Norrock right here had a brilliant idea, actually. Put everybody up against each other and see how it turns out. Absolute chaos, boys. I love it. Let's do it. We shouldn't settle for a small time mining operation when this whole planet could be ours. Listen to Norak. Whatever you say. We're choosing the dark oh, side every day of the week, boys. We gave us enough time to get back to the shuttle, but we still better move it before these things get a chance to Might shoot Might as well us. use it as a weapon. Base of operations. It's time I took control of this mayhem. There we go. I mean, we were probably about to fight him and stuff. Incoming. Not gonna need. I don't need to do that. We're very friends with him, and I think he's right. I think he's absolutely right. We should definitely use those weapons for ourselves. All right, let's attack these. Uh, we're probably gonna have to attack them. Just finish them off pretty quick, boys. Oh, okay. There we go. That's done. My rooks are about to fall off probably soon enough. Uh, I want to use them as much as possible before they fall out. Let me just use them really quick. There we go. Just finish them off. At the same time, yeah, I'm just going to force choke you to death. There we go. Okay, so that's done. But you are about to die, buddy. Are right, the shuttles right here, boys. We finally made it. Had to fight a couple more goons along the way, but uh, the, ma the, the main thing is we made it uh, to the ship. Now... Off we go, before any more problems, before we get shut down ourselves by the automated defenses, right? So, might as well go right now. I've raised my brow that a lot of things you've done, but never in my wildest dreams did I think you were capable of something so blasted stupid. Mind yourself, Major. I won't permit this insubordination while there's still so much work left to do. Insubordination. Stars your brain. You're not even in we control anymore. Not, Colonel, and he wasn't too happy to hear about what you've been up to. You had the brass to speak for a Sith with ties to the Dark Council without his permission. But that wasn't reckless enough for you. Not telling anyone that Norik was missing. Forging his orders. And the best part's gotta be how you dragged us into your stupidity. 
I know Norik was a pain, sir. And I know he was keeping you from supporting the Empire the way you thought was right. I might have understood if you had just told me about all of this from the start. But you lied to me. And that... That I don't understand. I should take you down, exactly. I should probably take him down for this. For the for the Empire, that's the death wish right there that he had. Little, little death wish, boys. I think he should probably die. A second-rate officer posing as a Sith. That's gotta be worth a lot of credits. I wonder if the Dark Council would pay more if you were dead or alive. Are you sure that impersonating a Sith is such a terrible thing? Because right now, you sound just like Norak. Where is Darth Norak? He's on his way. Then before he arrives and exacts his punishment, at least let me explain myself. Other than making a complete fool of yourself, what exactly did you do? Whatever mess you found Norak in was the result of his own arrogance. When I lost contact with him, I simply took advantage of his absence. My entire career, I've done nothing but prove my admiration for the Sith. I served without question, believed they had a right to rule the Empire. Until I had a chance to lead this operation, I cherished the idea that I was helping soldiers live to see another day. Norok, however, kept saying I needed to think bigger. He wanted all of Manan under his rule, but we didn't have the resources to sustain a prolonged occupation of the entire planet. It would have achieved nothing. Nothing more than a boost to Norok's ego. I refused to sacrifice faithful citizens of the Empire for something so irresponsible. And I do not regret that decision. Or the decision to use Norok's name. If it means not one life will be wasted on a Sith ambition. Do you regret it now, Cord? Can you still hold fast to your principles while the breath is torn from your lungs? My lord, if he just... Finally. I thought I would never be able to get through. I won't question your methods of discipline when it comes to your subordinates, Norok. But you will not treat mine like this. Release him. Now. I want this cowardly bogtick executed, Krovos. On what charges? Incompetence. Dereliction. Fabricating the word of a Sith. That is... disappointing, Colonel. Does anyone have evidence to support Darth Norok's accusations? Me? Of course, I support Darth Norok. All day, every day. This guy was a dumbass. The colonel was a dumbass. Colonel Kord lied to all of us and issued fake orders that were meant to undermine Darth Norok's plans. That's all I needed to hear. But Kord is mine to deal with, Norok. Major Anri, I am sorry that this falls to you. Arrest Colonel Kord. I want him brought to my location at once. I have the option of killing him. Wouldn't that put me on the bad ma bad side with with her though, with Darth Krovos? We've been working with her for a while now. I don't think she would like that. She just told us to arrest him. Um I'm sorry, but he doesn't escape this. He's in the Empire. Uh, there's no places here. He, he literally did high treason. I don't... He should not live, boys. He's in the Empire. He knows what to expect. Let me execute him. This is why your soldiers make stupid decisions, Krovos. You let them get away with far too much. Yeah, you way to too much. Example. You're way too complacent. I'll deal with this myself. Well, while you clean up that mess, I'll sort out the issue of finding someone to replace Colonel Cord. That's Get your problem, not mine. Planned for Manon, Norok. The war will not wait for your ambitions. You have my thanks. It's something I do not offer freely. Because of your commitment to expanding the Empire's reach, Manon will soon be under Imperial control. Under 
My control. There is much work to be done if I am to repair the damage Cord has caused. But I do hope your assistance will be available again, should I need it. Sure, if I'm available, I guess. In the meantime, we got all the business uh, businesses to attend to. I'm sure Darth Krovos did not enjoy that. Did not like that whatsoever, the fact that I killed a cord without uh, her consent, but... You know, managed to get the rest of our reinforcements I do what I want. Guns. Of course, Darth Norik had to get them good and terrified the second they got here. It's going to be a hell of a fight from here on out. We had enough trouble keeping the Selkath away when we only have one section of water under our control. Well, how about you tell me more, my girl? I like it when you talk business. You sound so... assertive. Really? You ask anyone else, I say I run my mouth too much. Glad you don't mind. I've seen you in action so many times, and you still never cease to amaze. Not to mention all the times you've come through for me. You're probably tired of everyone constantly falling over themselves for you. I'm sure you don't need to hear me go on about how amazing I think you are. But I can count the number of people I trust on one hand. Every time we meet, you more than earn your place on that list. Hope you know how much I appreciate that. How about you show me that appreciation instead? If you want to show me how going much you that place, boys. Me, you can start by buying me a drink. Not a bad idea, but I've got something better in mind. Oh, do you now? Oh, shit. You're right. That was much better. Let's just hope we don't have to wait too long before we get to do that again. Anyway, I know you have a lot to get back to and I don't want to keep you from it. Thanks for sticking around and seeing this through. We got ourselves a girl, boys. What do you know? I've always liked her, boys. We've always liked Major Henry. She's such a badass. She definitely is a right, the right fit for my character. Well, you know, there is a place in his, uh, for my character's heart, after all. There is a place for him. So it seems like we did level up. But not really, kind of. So level 80 seems to be the max. Uh, the new max. So uh, speak to Darth Rivix. And where is that at exactly? Dar Where's Darth Rivix at? Um, so he has arrived in Manan with an update on the hand. And the Empire's investigation Mr. So Darth Null speaks to Riz to learn more. Okay. But where, where would that be though? Because I'm clearly not in the right spot. Spot right here, right? I think it did the same thing again. Am I gonna have to respawn again, or do I need to? Because he's not in here. He's clearly not in here. So, uh, where would be? Where would he be? Let me find out really quick. All right, here we are, boys. So it's always doing the same thing, really. It's always uh, doing that for Manan, at least. For some reason, it always glitches out where I have to. Go back to somewhere else and respawn in Manon in order to, for me to to get to the right spot. So we're gonna go here and uh, finally Which interact with Darth Revix. Uh, not this guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I'm gonna do that just for the joke, boys. Just for the sake of it. Revix, I know you must be weary after all you've accomplished here. But we have an urgent problem. We've lost contact with the team we deployed to explore the ruins of Darth Null's fortress on Elon. It could be a simple malfunction, but given the importance of their mission and the site's interest to Darth Malgus, we should investigate immediately. Well, I'll need your help. I'll be fine on my own. We? Oui. I don't need you for this. Your confidence is well earned, but many of the personnel we deployed to Elam were under my command. I feel an obligation to participate. I'll be your chauffeur for this mission. I wasn't expecting you. I tried to persuade your... associate that you were in capable hands with me, but... But I've not had the opportunity to work with our esteemed ally. I thought this would be the perfect time to become better acquainted. How could I refuse such a charming request? I have some final arrangements to see to. I'll meet you at the ship. 
Looks like Lana's going to be teaming up with me for a lo uh, after a long time without doing so. Uh, he's a snake. Rivix is on our side, so that's why you're here. Yeah, I guess that's why you're here. You think he might stab me in the back if you aren't here to stop him? He wouldn't succeed. Regardless, I merely want to spare you the distraction. I'll focus on him so you can focus on the mission. Shall we? So she's just basically going to be there to keep an eye out on him. That's great. That's good news. It's been a while since we actually worked with her. Uh, but can I actually switch? I have my own partner right now. So this is going to be a flashpoint. All right. This is going to be a flashpoint. So I'm not going to be able to go into, um, into operative for that one. Uh, so since it's a flashpoint, let me go ahead and I'm going to have to actually... Here's the thing. I want to see if there's any mods whatsoever. That doesn't seem to be... There's nothing here in this planet. Manon is literally a dead planet. There's nothing. There's no markets. No nothing that I can get. So I can't equip myself properly. So I'm guessing we're just going to have to keep moving really. Uh, in the same time, at the same time, I'm going to see really quick my companions. I'm going to see if it's not available for me to, because I'm going to have uh, Lana with me probably for this mission. But I want to see if there's not another available uh, person that I could get. So uh, let me find out. Maybe, I mean, I could try and get, uh, not Kira, I don't like her. Uh, Shea Vizsla, not really. Which one is the one that I wanted though? A uh, Mac, Ma Mako, there we go. Mako, boys. I want a Mako with me, so. Uh, I did buy a brand new costume, all the good stuff with her after all, so I kind of want to do that. Uh, since though, uh, the next point of contention is a flashpoint, what we're going to do is head back. So, I kind of want to take the elevator. We're going to take the elevator really quick. I want to see what's on the refinery platform. There must be some sort of anything, really. There's got to be stuff that I can get right here. There's got to be uh, anything at all that I can do in order to for me to to uh, to upgrade myself. I mean, uh, surely there's something I can upgrade myself with, right? Unless not. Well, since I can't find anything, I'll try and find a planet where I can probably good like literally find. I don't know anything, uh, mods or whatever I can buy. Uh, so in the meantime, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.